This video is all about February 2023 stash stats. I'm going to be updating you guys with all the yarns that I got out of my stash last month in addition to what I brought in. I'm going to show you the progress on my scrappy projects for the year and I am going to be giving you community stats updates for the year of stash knit along that I am hosting. So let's see what we were able to accomplish in the shortest month of the year. Grab your coffee, grab something to drink, grab your knitting, and let's dive into it. Hello and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Do So Knits is my channel where I share with you guys how knitting has interwoven into my life. My name is Kristen. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you as always for coming back. Today's video is all about my February stash stats and I have a lot of fun things to share with you guys. So in these, I like to share all of the projects that I finished, the yarns that I got out, new acquisitions that I have, and then this year I'm doing something a little bit different and sharing community stats because I am hosting a year of stash knit along. During the year of stash knit along, anyone can participate. It's really a make along. Just as long as you use some stash that you had before 2023, you can join. I will have all the links to the information down in the description box below. There's an informational video. There's a hashtag you can use on Instagram called year of stash cal. There is a Google form to submit finished objects, but just make sure you check out that description box and I will link the informational video up here if you would like to join. You can join any time in the year, any point of the year, just as long as you're using stash from before 2023, you could enter those projects. Some other information up front that I wanted to give you guys is I have opened a spread shop. So a spread shop is a way for me to design logos and then for you guys to buy merch and swag with those logos to be a part of the community. So I've designed logos for both Do So Knits and I've designed a logo for the Year of Stash Cal. So you can see the logo, I'll try to pop a picture up here, but on my spread shirt, which will be linked down below, I think they should just like appear below the video, but if not, the spread shirt link will be linked in the description box. But on spread shirt, you can take that design and you can pick between t-shirts, stickers, mugs, sweatshirts, and get this logo printed and participate a part of the year of Stash Cal. It also allows you to customize the items. So for the year of Stash logo, I've made one with black text, one with white text, and then one with no text. So depending on if you wanted a darker or lighter shirt, you can pick which color text you want but I've also given you that option of one with no text so that if you go to Spreadshirt and you find an item that you like, there's usually a little pencil icon below, like the you can look at the different photos and there's a pencil icon. If you click the pencil icon, it'll take that logo and the item and then you can customize. You can add more text, you can look at other images or logos that are on Spreadshirt's website and you can kind of customize your t-shirt or sticker or whatever you want to order. And then Spreadshirt will process all your information. They will print the item and they will mail it directly to you. And then there's a little kickback for me as you're buying the design for my knit along. So I hope this is exciting. It's something that I've had in the works since the beginning of the year. So if you'd like some year of stash knit along swag or anything with the Do So Knits logo, it's all linked down below. I hope you guys are excited because I'm super excited. And if you buy anything, please tag me on Instagram when it arrives. I want to see it. I should have my own order coming soon with some items as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the stash stats. So we'll start this video off with all of the projects that I finished in February. So in February I finished four different projects and used a good amount of skeins. So the first project I finished was my Advent Shawl. That project used four 50 gram fingering weight skeins and two mohair skeins. So six skeins total. I also finished a Lyle cap for my brother. I finished a Harlow hat which used one skein of yarn and some scraps. And then finally, I finished my Desert Vista Dye Works socks, which used 
two skeins of yarn because I had one main skein color and one skein I used for contrasting heels, cuffs, and toes. So all in all, last month I used 10 different skeins of yarn. And if you're new here, I only count skeins that I break into, skeins that I haven't used before. And then I count how many grams I use. So the grams will include things like scraps and my cozy memories blanket. So from all of those projects, plus I finished five squares on my cozy memories blanket. So that brings my gram total for February to 464 grams and 10 different skeins of yarn, which I think is pretty good. I did use more skeins this month than I did in January and that Advent shawl definitely helped bring that total up considering that one project used six different skeins of yarn. But before we get into the stash that I brought in, I do wanna give you guys an update on my scrappy projects because I don't normally show those on my normal podcast episodes. And mentioning that if you want any more information about those finished objects that I just mentioned, make sure you check out my normal podcast episodes. That's where I will show the actual projects that I'm working on. Some of these that I mentioned that I finished in February, you haven't even seen yet, specifically the Harlow hat. I haven't showed that on the channel yet, so that'll be in the next podcast. But make sure you check out normal podcast videos to see the yarns that I used and the finished objects. But I wanna update you guys on my scrappy projects since I don't normally update you on those on um, those podcast episodes. So in February, I did five squares on my cozy memories. And so this is where it is at. But to mark the ones that I've done every month, I've been putting light bulb stitch markers on so that I can show you guys the ones that I've done. So this is the first square. And the little stitch marker is a snail from Simply Serving, and I feel like it fits nicely because this is definitely a slow project. So we have this green square. We have my wintry mix leftovers. Both of these are leftovers from my Advent shawl. And then this one is the leftovers from Shane's Desa Vista Dye Works socks from last month. So I still need to put the contrast color in, but those are the five squares that I did in February. And then I wanna show you guys an update on my Cozy Comfort Throw. This one I am using undyed fingering weight held with my A Homespun House 2021 advent calendar. Might even be 2020, I'm not sure. It's my 2020 advent. Molly makes these little logos so you can see right there. So this is my 2020 A Homespun House Advent. I am in the middle of a row, so you will have to forgive me, but it's on a long circular and this is where it's at. So the last time I showed it, I was at this marker and I don't know when the last time I showed it was. I forgot to show these in my January stash video, but this is where it's at. I started using a random color, but since then I have made giant cakes with all of the minis in kind of a gradient effect. So that's the first cake, and this is my second cake. I have a long way to go. I'm on the seventh color of 26, 25. So there's a long way to go. But I usually just work on this when I'm editing these videos, so it just lives in my office on the floor by my computer because I know this project will always be there for me. And when I'm re-watching the videos after I edit them, it's easy to like pick up and put down pretty quickly. So that's when I'm working on that. So that's the update on my scrappy projects. So then we can look at the new skeins and stash that I brought in during February. Skein wise, I think I did pretty good. I do have one pretty big amount that brought it at the beginning of the month, but then I was pretty good yarn wise. So the first thing that I brought in was 12 different skeins from North Bay Fibers of their Heritage yarn. And I have already broken into this yarn because I'm using it in my Heritage Harbor that I'm testing for Samantha Guerin. So this is 100% Targi Polypay. 
It is a heavy decay, light worsted, non-superwash, two-ply, woolen spun yarn. They're 50 grams and 150 yards each. So I did have to get 12 because they are 50 grams each. And I got 10 skeins in this chestnut color and then two skeins in this walnut color. I don't have a walnut in skein form to show you because I'm on my second ball for this test knit already. So the pattern calls for, I'll need 10 skeins total, but I wasn't sure if I was going to stripe these two colors together. So I bought 10 skeins in case I wanted to do no stripes and do it all in chestnut. But when I swatched, I did decide I did like the walnut with it. So I'll end up having two of these left over most likely and I can make a hat or de-stash them. So that is that yarn. And the inside of the label of this yarn is super cute. I think I showed it on a podcast, but they have these cute little sheep inside. I think it's so adorable. But Heritage Harbor also sent, or I say Heritage Harbor, um, North Bay Fiber. This is what happens. This is the Heritage Base, and then I'm testing the Heritage Harbor, but it's all from North Bay Fiber. North Bay Fiber sent these super cute goodies along. So they send this informational card with a really pretty close-up of their yarn, talking about hand-dyed yarn, dyed lots, everything like that. And then they give you this really sweet handwritten note, or at least I got this handwritten note, with another gorgeous photo on it. And this is the note on the back, but That's the photo, I think it's really cute. So some of the postcards that I really like, I'll end up when I hang by my desk. And then they sent a really cute sticker. So I've been waiting to put this on my um, knitting journal until I showed you guys. So that's the really, really cute sticker from North Bay Fiber. So that is everything I got from them. Oh, I also got a little postcard about vegetable matter, hay in the yarn, and what VM is used for and why it could be there. Really cute card. So they said have some really beautiful photography on these cards and I will probably be keeping them. So that was 12 skeins in and 600 grams. I ordered that North Bay Fiber yarn in January and it arrived in February and I only count yarn in when I actually get it into my stash. So I basically went the entire month of February not buying any yarn. And then the end of the month came and I bought this. I have purchased three skeins of Heirloom Romney from Fancy Tiger Crafts. This is a yarn that is milled, dyed, and spun exclusively for Fancy Tiger. And we just got the new batch in and new colors. And Fancy Tiger Crafts is hosting an Heirloom Romney knit along. And so I bought three skeins to do a Sophie shawl. So the Sophie shawl is just a really easy garter stitch worsted weight shawl. And I thought this green, green definitely fits my, uh, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Green is like the color of my year. Browns and greens are what I wanna make everything in. So I got three skeins. This is the colorway Nettles and it is four ounces, 200 yards, 114 grams, worsted weight. And it's 100% US Romney wool. And I really liked this Nettles because there are some nice variations in it and then like a really nice like orange break so I thought this and the Sophie shawl would look really really nice so for that shawl I'm doing the large size and needed three skeins so that is what I bought all in all that is three skeins in another 300 grams so total for the month I brought in 15 skeins of yarn and 900 grams so for the month, my month change is a plus five skeins and a plus 436 grams. Now, I am finishing my Heritage Harbor in March. I have to, that's when the test net is due. So that should be 10 skeins out. 
So that should help with my year to date stats. I'm at a plus seven skeins and a plus 640 grams, 639. To be specific, it's 639, but I rounded. So that's all the yarn that I brought in. Now, I said I was good and I didn't buy yarn for most of February. However, I did buy a good amount of fiber. <laughs> So the first thing that came in is my Nest Fiber Club. My Nest Fiber Club from January arrived in February. Um, and I don't have the wool to show you, but I did start spinning it. So this is my first bobbin. And I'll talk more about this spin, like I said, in my podcast episode. But this is the first bobbin. The second half is on my wheel right now. So that's kind of the colors for this. This is Nest Fiber Club you get fiber every month it was four ounces and it was pole worth was the fiber content and then i bought more fiber <laughs> i was watching taylor earl of wool needles hands and she showed fiber that she got from the shop one thursday and i immediately saw it and went on to her etsy shop and bought two different braids of her yarn so this is a four ounce of merino silk. It is the color s'mores. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. And then I got this, which is merino and sari silk, I believe. And mm, I love these. So this is two fibers that I got from one Thursday. I think this one is going to spin up super fun, probably make like end up making a hat out of it. Like the thing I like about hats is depending on whatever my gauge ends up being, I can probably find a hat to make something with. And I think this will be really fun. And then this is just gorgeous browns, you know. But before those came in, I also was at Fancy Tiger and I, it's coming undone, hold on. So one day when I went into the store at Fancy Tiger, I ended up buying four ounces of this merino silk from Ashford. It's pretty, so more fiber. I bought a lot of fiber this month, so all in all, 12 ounces of fiber plus the nest that came in, so 16 ounces of fiber in February. But fiber I'm not counting toward my stash goals, but I did want to show you. So yeah, that is all of my stash stats for February. So now we can get into the community stats for the year of stash knit along. So I have to pull out my notebook of notes, but for February, we had 80 different entries into the year of stash knit along. And those entries are for finished objects that people submit on the Google form, which you can find in the description box below. Of those 80 entries, February, we had 209 skeins used, 35 mini skeins, and 15,773 grams. So for 2023 so far, we're at 373 skeins, 150 mini skeins, and 29,929 grams. You guys are being amazing. I love looking at all of the projects you guys are submitting. And with that, let's look at all of the projects that you guys submitted in February.
all these projects amazing. I love them. I love seeing what you guys are making. So make sure you submit those photos in the Google form. And if you'd like to share throughout the month and have other people see it on Instagram as well, use the hashtag year of stash cal k a l you can find that on instagram as long as you have a public account other people will be able to see it i can see it and share and then you can follow that hashtag to see what other people are making and it'll pop up in your instagram feed but more stats about what you guys were able to do so in february we had some bigger projects 35% were socks and last month most of the projects were socks so I can see I have a I have a tribe I knit a lot of socks and you guys seem to be knitting a lot of socks as well but we had a tie for the second most popular projects we had 12.5% being sweaters and 12.5% being shawls so that's pretty cool we also had some other projects in there we had some spinning slippers and then types of projects we had 87.5% of you were knitting, 8.8% were crocheting, and 38 were spinning. So that counts. All of that counts, and we have a lot of knitters, but we have some crocheting and spinning happening as well. So then the winner for February. So each month, as I have prizes and as, as it allows, I am pulling winners from the entries that you guys submit. This month we had 80 different entries and I used a random number generator to select the winner. So drum roll. The winner was number 66 this month. It is Sandy with the username of Mystery Sewer. Sandy made these really cute striped socks, and that is the winner of this month's giveaway. So I have just some, a couple different prizes to pull from, so Sandy, please make sure to send me an email. Email me at doSoKnits at gmail.com. It's also linked in the description box. Email me with your address, and I will get a prize sent out to you. And as always, thank you guys so much for submitting all of your projects and participating in this knit along. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm glad you all are on this journey of using Stash with me. But with that, I think that is everything I have to share with you about Stash stats today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. How was your February? Do you feel like you've made some progress on your stash? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. It helps us find other knitters out there, and it's a free way to support the channel. And as always, if you'd like some more behind the scenes, there's a Patreon link down below if you'd like to join. Thank you for clicking, thank you for watching, and thank you for your time. I have loved spending this time with you guys today, and I'll see you again next week for a podcast episode. Happy knitting.